With Tesla making moves in the automotive industry, the massive Gigafactory wasn't much of a surprise. In this video, we'll talk about Tesla's $1 billion Texas Gigafactory HQ. So let's get right into it. What are Tesla doing? Tesla's goal is to speed up the change from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources worldwide by making electric cars and other energy-related items cheaper. To reach its goal of making 500,000 cars a year, Tesla will need all of the lithium-ion batteries currently in use worldwide. The Tesla Gigafactory is a solution to a problem due to a need. It will make enough batteries to meet the expected demand for Tesla cars. Today, the Gigafactory makes electric motors, battery packs for the Model 3, and Tesla's energy storage units like the Powerwall and Powerpack. Outside of Sparks, Nevada, Tesla began building the Gigafactory for real in June 2014. The name Gigafactory comes from the word Giga, which is a unit of measurement that stands for billions. The Gigafactory itself is being built in stages. This is so Tesla can start making cars as soon as possible in the parts that are finished and keep adding on to the facility. The footprint of the existing building is more than 1.9 million square feet, and it has about 5.3 million square feet of working space spread out across many floors. Even so, only about 30% of the Gigafactory has actually been finished. Tesla thinks that when it's done, the Gigafactory will be the biggest building in the world and run entirely on clean energy. Installing solar panels at the facility, which will be a net zero energy factory when it's done, is already happening. The solar energy will be the main source of power for the factory. Midway through 2018, batteries were being made at Gigafactory 1 at a rate of about 20 gigawatts per year. This made it the plant with the most batteries in the world. At the moment, Tesla is adding more kilowatt hours worth of batteries than all other automakers put together. Once production at the Gigafactory starts to pick up, the cost of Tesla's battery cells will go down by a lot. This is by economics of scale, creative manufacturing, less waste, and putting most of the manufacturing operations under one roof. All of these makes it more efficient. If Tesla can get the price of its batteries down, more people will be able to buy its products. This will let us have the biggest possible effect on the switch to renewable energy around the world. Tesla is the most recent company whose headquarters have moved from California to Texas. Some of these businesses are AECOM, Oracle, and Hewlett Packard. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, started rumors about the company moving to Texas in February when he asks his Twitter followers, Geeka Texas? He gave options as hell yeah and nope for voting. Musk wrote on Twitter in May that his company's headquarters will be moving immediately to the state of Texas. This was in response to Alameda County suggesting that Tesla stays closed until June the 1st because of the coronavirus outbreak. In response to Musk's comments, Abbott said that he had talked about the decision with the company CEO. Business Insider said that Musk fought California over the state laws on coronaviruses and income taxes, which may have had something to do with the company leaving the state. Public filings with the Texas State Agency show that Tesla plans to spend more than $1 billion on its new vehicle factory in Austin, Texas. The company plans to finish building the factory by the end of this year. The permits show that Tesla's previously announced expansion next to the Colorado River is still on track to start making cars soon, and that the company is investing a lot of money in the 2,000-acre facility. Also, the expansion is on track to start making cars within the next few months. Tesla's electric cars make up most of the huge market for cars in California. So what are the manufacturing capabilities? Tesla sent the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation documents that showed how much the company has spent on its Austin factory to get a variety of manufacturing capabilities. The company has said it plans to finish building its general assembly, paint it, and do other things. The electric car company told the TDLR that it planned to spend $493 million on the general assembly area of the facility and $182 million on the body shop itself. This information comes from construction documents, and according to records, the painting, casting, and stamping facilities, as well as the facilities for building these parts, will all be finished by December 31st. The five buildings cost a total of $1.06 billion. In addition to the long-delayed Tesla Semi, Tesla plans to make Model Ys and Model 3s that will be shipped to the East Coast. 
According to the company's most recent earnings report, the unfinished Texas Gigafactory started making Model Y crossovers in the fourth quarter of 2021. Since the company announced in October that it would move its headquarters from California to Texas, the factory has become a very important symbol for the company. It was first said that the plant will be in Travis County, Texas in 2020. Musk told shareholders at the October meeting that the building of the factory was going according to plan. During the meeting with the shareholders in October, Musk reported that the facility's construction is proceeding as expected. Both California and Nevada are now home to one of Tesla's facilities. Additionally, it is a gigafactory in Shanghai that has been built, and it is now developing another one close to Berlin in Germany. In October, Tesla told shareholders at a presentation show that the building of the gigafactory in Texas was going as planned. To meet our production goals, we are now putting enough equipment into service and building the first pre-production cars. At the grand opening of the Gigafactory, the company showcased its new 4,680 battery cells and structural battery pack, which are already utilized in certain Model Y variations. Musk explains that the most significant change with the new battery pack is that the new batteries carry weight, which makes the vehicle lighter, requires fewer parts, costs less, and enhances crash performance. Musk also proposed an entirely new Tesla vehicle, a, quote, dedicated robo-taxi, which will look extremely futuristic, as well as a forthcoming Tesla robot named Optimist that will, quote, eliminate the concept for economy. We can't wait to see that. With the new Tesla Gigafactory being built in Austin, the company also hopes to finally finish the long-awaited and very futuristic Cybertruck. This has been a goal for the company for a very long time. Musk has said that the Cybertruck will be Tesla's most powerful vehicle to date will be released in 2023. These holdups have been going on for years. People say that with the Cybertruck's battery being fully charged, it can go up to 500 miles, go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds, and carry 14,000 pounds. In October, Steve Adler, the mayor of Austin, said that Tesla fits in perfectly with the city and the area. Tesla plans to have thousands of people work at the plant when it's open. The Texas Gigafactory is on about 2,100 acres of land, which is east to the Austin Bergstrom International Airport in Texas. About two miles away from the site is the Colorado River. The company has stated it wants to hire as many as 5,000 new people and pay them an average of $47,147 per year, with entry-level jobs paying $35,000 per year. Today, about 10,000 people work at Tesla's only car plant in the United States, which is in Fremont. Musk wants to make more Tesla cars available as part of his plan to make transportation less harmful to the environment and give people more room to move around. Elon Musk gave a talk about how important it is to invest in better physical infrastructure at a recent event put on by the Wall Street Journal CEO Council. He stressed how important it is to build highways with two lanes, dig more tunnels, and improve airports that are already there. Even so, the roadshow said that Musk said he was against the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, which will put billions of dollars into building infrastructure. Musk specifically criticized the plan to build charging stations for electric vehicles, saying that the subsidies aren't needed and the government should remove them. So, that's everything. We'd like to hear your thoughts about the Gigafactory itself. What do you think of it? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, and click the notification bell to get more updates like this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching.